green green reinforced layout design. The tool body itself, without accessories, is quite compact. The cord is 3 meters long, so it doesn't restrict the user's operation at height. Every GAC 250 tool comes with one chain bar cover, one chain bar, one saw chain, and one sprocket wheel, tailored for AAC block cutting. Now we are ready to assemble the accessories. First of all, recognize the head of the guide bar. The guide bar of GAC 250 has a nose wheel in the front to reduce the friction and vibration. Now pay attention to the orientation of the blade. The depth gauge should come before the cutting teeth when the chain moves. Next we are going to fix the chain in the slot of the chain bar. The saw chain will run clockwise when you face the sunny side of the tool. The depth gauge should always come first, and the teeth should follow. Now we will mount the chain and the chain bar onto the tool. Take off the side casing and adjust the tensioning wheel so that the fastening bolt is on the far left. Fit the chain around the sprocket wheel and mount the chain bar onto the fastening bolt. Rotate the tension wheel until the chain is tensioned and will stay mounted to the chainsaw. We don't want the chain to be too tight nor too loose. Pull the chain up and there should be a 3 to 4 millimeter gap. Check if all parts are seated properly and seal the side casing. And now the tool is good to go. GAC 250 weighs about 4.8 kilograms in your hands. When holding the tool handle, the guide bar shows a slight downward angle, and this is designed to facilitate cutting. At the same time, the tool can be comfortably held in one hand since the center of gravity of the tool is in line with the handle. To ensure safe operation, the user is recommended to hold the auxiliary handle with the other hand. Make sure the tool is now connected to power. Pull the front brake back to the unlock position. Press the lock off button and then the trigger. With a maximum cutting capacity of 250 millimeters, GAC 250 is capable of cutting blocks of various sizes in one cut without turning the block. The no load chain speed can reach a maximum 12 meters per second, thanks to the powerful 1200 watt motor set of accessories, the tool is capable of completing one cut in just 10 seconds. Cutting AAC blocks naturally creates a lot of dust. To reduce the amount of airborne dust, we optimize the kerf of the chain bar, making it narrower so less AAC material is removed during the cutting process. At the same time, the dust outlet at the bottom of the tool allows dust to directly drop to the ground without coming towards the user's face. GAC 250 is carefully designed to ensure user safety. Always use Bosch's tailored AAC saw chains to prevent kickback. In emergency cases, use the rundown brake to stop the chain from moving and disconnect the tool from power. Make sure the rundown brake is pushed to the lock position when you are done using the tool. While the tool has a perfectly balanced design, it is highly recommended that the user operates with two hands. Cover the chain bar with the bar cover for safe storage. I hope you enjoy the use of GAC 250 and let's make AAC cutting a hassle-free experience for our users.